To install Big Brains, go to bigbrains.com. That's Big Brains with a Z. Click on the Schools link at the top of the page and download either the Mac or Windows installer. Once the download finishes, simply run the installer on the needed computers. For large installations, please download our remote install instructions or use the available MSI. To access Big Brains, simply double click the Big Brains icon on your desktop. The first time you access the program, select your state, your district, and your school. The program will set a cookie to remember your selection automatically. If the school hasn't been set up yet, you would select the Educator option and set it up now in two simple steps. First, list the information for the school's primary contact for the program. Second, select one password for educators to use and a second default password for students. Educator passwords need to be at least six characters long and student passwords need to be at least three characters long. Educators will share a common password and by default, students will share a different common password, but you can create unique passwords for students if you would like. To add classes manually, simply press the Add Classes button, then type or paste a list of the classes you would like to add. When finished, press the Add button at the bottom of the window. To add students manually, select a class, then press the Add Students button. Type or paste a list of students. To include unique passwords, include a semicolon between the student name and their password. Notice that you can look at the preview pane on the left to verify student data will be recorded as you intend. When you've finished entering student names, press the Add button at the bottom of the window to complete the process. To add many students automatically, you can use the Import Student List button. Each student entry needs to include their class name and their name or number. Include a password only if you're going to use unique passwords. Note that each item on a row must be separated by a semicolon. Again, notice that you can preview on the left-hand side what you're actually adding. When the preview pane looks the way you intend, press the Add button. You can delete classes or students with the Delete button. And you can change passwords or names using the Edit button. Once your school is set up, students will access the game by clicking on the Big Brains icon and then entering their student password. They will only be allowed then to select their name and choose which operation to play. To view your reports, simply log in with your educator password and you will automatically be taken to an interactive, nearly real-time report of student progress. At the top of the report, you'll see a quick snapshot of the school's key indicators, including number of students, average improvement, hours of instruction, and average post-test score. The area graph shows an instant summary of both usage and progress in weekly intervals. The number of students who have finished an operation are represented in green. Students who have played 20 minutes or more in a given week show up in blue. And students who played, but played for less than 20 minutes, show up in yellow. Other graphs compare pretest and post-test scores. Above the graphs, you'll see different tabs. One that shows a summary of all operations, and one for each individual operation. These tabs show how many students have taken the pretest what their average scores were, how far they have progressed through the game, how many have finished the operation, what their average post-test scores were, how many instructional hours they've invested, and their average hours invested. The average third grader tends to finish the program in about five hours, and upper grades average closer to two or three. So you'll want to make sure that your third graders are on pace to average at least five hours, and upper grades are on pace to average at least two or three. If you select an individual class, you get similar data for individual students. Notice that it also shows the estimated time remaining so that you can accurately schedule sufficient time for students to finish. You can also click on individual students to see exactly which facts they missed, have mastered, and are still working on. Using the print button, you can print any of the reports you're looking at, whether it's the school summary, the classroom summary, or individual student. If you have any further questions, please visit us online, email us, or call us. Thank you.